It is Sunday, March the 17th, 2024, also St. Patrick's Day for those who celebrate. And um, to frame the information that I want to share that was um, given to me, which is another effort to expose the Freemasons, I wanted to first talk about this entry that I wrote back in 2021 about synthetic spirituality. Part of the um, approach has been for me to be ready enough to receive a um, a traumatic revelation enough that I can hear it and then investigate it. And then to repackage it in a way that I can make it known um, in ways that don't re-traumatize people who've experienced it or traumatize people who have never known about it but need to know because their family members may be involved. Um, and if they are involved, they may not understand what what is happening um, beyond their comprehension to keep them involved and under control. All right, so I wrote, hallucinogen, psychotics, and dissociative drugs, United States Drug Enforcement Agency. It is not, the DEA is not <laughs> about um, preventing or better organizing drugs in the way that we imagined. Just keep in mind that um, beverage control is a, a government run organization. So when you go to buy alcohol, you're going into a government facility in order to purchase alcohol legally. Schedule one drugs, the drug or other substance has high potential for abuse, no currently accepted medical treatment use in the United States, has a lack of accepted safety for use under medical supervision. Examples include LSD, marijuana, cannabis, and THC, mescaline, mushrooms, peyote, MDMA, HGB, ecstasy, psilo, um, psilocybin, magic mushroom, synthetic marijuana, and analog, spice, K2, methoqualone or quaaludes, cat, cathinone, caffeine, and bath salts. Psychoactive, that means it's affecting the mind or mental processes or mood via use of drugs. Psychoactive drug, a chemical substance that changes nervous system function and results in alterations in perception, mood, consciousness, cognition, or behavior. Psycho, meaning mind, mental, spirit, unconsciousness, combining the Greek words psyche, the soul, mind, spirit, life, one's life, the invisible animating principle or entity which occupies and directs the physical body. Understand, I don't know why my hand is shaking like this today. I hope it's not showing up on the video. Um, understanding the mind as the seat of thought, faculty of reason, see psyche. It was used to form compounds in Greek such as psychoapath, uh, apates, soul beguiling, and apate, deceit. For example, LSD, lysergic acid uh, diethylamicide, first synthesized in 1938, made from a fungus that grows on rye and other grains called ergot. LSD's characteristic hallucinogenic effect is caused via interaction with the serotonin receptors in the brain. Neurotransmitter responsible for governing senses, mood, thoughts, and regulating sleep cycles. The effect of the drug, often called a trip, can be stimulating, pleasurable, and mind-altering, or it can lead to an unpleasant, sometimes terrifying experience called a bad trip. Bad trips and the accompanying flashbacks, characteristic of long-term use of LSD in high doses, are part of the risk of use. LSD users may also manifest relatively long-lasting psychoses, such as schizophrenia or severe depression. The synthetic production and illegal distribution of Schedule One drugs make the effect highly unpredictable because the content and origin are unknown to the consumer. Drugs can be synthesized as odorless and colorless, although taste is often detectable as a bitter taste if ingested orally, eaten, drank, smoked. Bitter herbs, Psalm 69, 20 through 21, brokenhearted. Many classic hallucinogens such as LSD and dissociative drugs such as PCP were developed in scientific laboratories for brain research. 
primarily anesthesiology, mind numbing, brain chemistry experimentation. Now I want you to consider a contextual example. Joseph responded, Joseph is my brother, responded to an I love you text I sent him to begin a conversation about his COVID recovery. He's still healing but described being in good spirit, which has was a comfort to hear. He also told me he had stopped smoking, which I was elated to hear because he had become a heavy vape user after quitting cigarettes and has also used marijuana regularly. He shared with me a vivid dream he had and indicated he'd been having them and remembering them much more frequently. Since he'd stopped smoking, I responded, having dreams and remembering them is great, Joey. It's a sign your mental health is also in recovery. The more vivid the dreams and recall, the better you will feel when you awake. I then tried to think of an analogy for this he could relate to so that he might envision how this should progress for him because dreams are spirit therapy, I said to him. It's like repairing your computer and troubleshooting while waiting for the parts you need so that you can still use it adaptively until you can make the full repair. By the time the parts arrive, you've invented, discover a new way of running your programs and applications that enhance the way you now use the computer once all the new and or replacement components are installed. Sleep does that. It's really important. There are five stages of sleep. The average person in 2021 can only consistently complete three of them without a medication prescribed over the counter or illegal to keep them resting in the way the brain and body would naturally achieve in, in stages four and five when deep sleep opens up the way for prophetic level sleep. Uh, sleep processes and deep memory recall brain waves can be and are measurable so an observer can tell what stage of sleep a person is in and what might disrupt or deepen the quality of the sleep what such an observer does with this knowledge can be therapeutic or terrorizing consenting to alter your own rest patterns contributes to the health healing and hindrance and thusly deterioration of a healthy mind and spiritual connection and i always emphasize the mind and the brain are not the same thing and therefore your ability to receive and interpret any messages contained in them for your own benefit some barriers require removal beyond the individual's ability to do so which is why we have been on this mission but some are completely within our personal control. That is the place to start. Seek help when needed. I believe you. All right, so um, now what I'd like to do is um, show you some clips from a video I was uh, that showed up on my feed this morning. And it's the only part of this particular video that I feel comfortable sharing, but it helps to validate the scriptures at the beginning of this video. All right, I wanna share with you, um, this is my 
mind scribble notebook when I'm trying to sort through information that I'm receiving and, and, and then trying to research and make sense of it. And this is really more for people who are ex-Masons um, and ex-Thelemites. And the Thelemites are significant for the duration of this um, effort. I have told people about the Thelemites and warned them against the Thelemites because they are obsessed with me and my marriage. <laughs> and um, they are the highest of these orders and the most secretive um, and they do everything they can to access anything that I put out or that I do, but to restrict anyone else from having access to it themselves. They are goddess worshipers and pervert everything that there is about being a woman. So, you know, maybe you all can look at some of this and, and make some additional sense of it and put it together in a way that I can share it um, and expose more of this debauchery. Um, the other thing that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned is that I do not know what the use of all of the um, contraptions or rooms are in the video that you just watched, but I do know that there is this consistent message that there are child sacrifices that happen. I don't know, I can't confirm whether or not that is the case. But that is something that is one additional possibility for these hidden, um, these hidden temples and theaters. So it's just something to keep in mind. If I can confirm it, I will help people to understand it in a way that they can receive it and then do something about it. Excavations of ancient Israel have unearthed an abundance of pottery, remnants of ancient daily life. These vessels had a wide variety of uses, but perhaps its most unusual use was as an urn for infant remains. To determine if this jar contains a 6,000-year-old baby, Archaeologists must send it through a CT scan. Wow, the faith here has a gulgolet. Fantastic. In the Kanak, we have a gulgolet. Can the Amud Ashidra, we have slow tempo, we can the Agan. We have a tibia, a tibia, a tibia. It's a tibia. We can the Reglaim, which are the Kupalot. We have a Nucha Ubarit. המצב של העצמות הוא קטסטרופלי, אין שום סיכוי לעשות פה שחזור או הפעוט. בסוף היום נצטרך פשוט אה, לפרק את הקד הזה ולחפור את השלד החוצה. Fortunately, all the pieces are here. They just need to be put back together. It's the first step in determining if this child was sacrificed. One of the greatest tales of sacrifice comes from the biblical story of Abraham and Isaac. The book of Genesis tells us that Abraham is God's most loyal follower. In return for his faith, God promises to make Abraham the father of many nations. For the record, Isaac was not a child when this occurred. Most of the uh, research or the priestly uh, justification material around this particular event say that he was in his 30s at the time, um, which would have made Ishmael much older because I believe he was a teenager when Isaac was born, although I suspect they were twins. Anyway, I just wanted to um, validate that statement. 